Hello, friends. Today, we're going to talk about some fantastic financial tips. If you're thinking about investing your first little amount but don't know where to start, then this video is for you. So, let's get started. Lesson 1. Invest in yourself. Imagine you have $1,000 and you're ready to invest. Now, you might think of putting it in stocks, crypto, or real estate, but hold on. The best thing you can do is invest in yourself. Yes, pick a skill like coding, marketing, or sales, something you enjoy and is in demand. Start small, dedicate just 20 minutes a day, and watch how your income can grow. Think about it. If you were a stock, would you invest in yourself? Lesson two, financial freedom versus being rich. I used to think that becoming rich was the ultimate goal, but I learned that it all actually starts with financial freedom. Financial freedom doesn't mean having luxury cars or mansions. It means that if you don't want to work even a single hour, you don't have to. Imagine having a small apartment that you could rent out, covering your expenses. This freedom allows you to focus on things that truly matter to you without stress. Lesson three, save first, invest later. Now let's talk about saving versus investing. I used to think I should start investing right away, but honestly, if you're just starting out and have a small amount, focusing on saving is more effective. Think of it this way. If you're spending $1 on a night out and your $1,000 investment only earns you a few dollars a year, it balances out. So, until you have a decent amount saved up, prioritize saving over worrying about investments. Lesson four, how to start investing with a small income. You might be thinking, my income is too low. How can I start investing? But it actually depends more on your habits than your income. Small investments, even like $1 daily, can make a huge difference over time. Most of us can save a little by cutting out that pricey coffee or bottled water. And if your boss cut your salary by 5%, you'd adjust, right? So start making small, consistent investments with what you have. Lesson five, know the true value of your time. Now think, have you ever thought about the actual value of an hour of your time? People often spend hours trying to save small amounts, but if you value your time at just a few dollars, then while investing, don't just focus on money, but also on how much time you're spending on it. Investing in Bitcoin might seem exciting, but think about the time spent tracking it, worrying and stressing over price drops. Lesson six, willpower alone isn't enough. Embrace automation. Honestly, most of us aren't consistent with manual saving. Automation can help you out. Set up a system where your money automatically goes into savings or an investment account every month. Make the decision once and let automation do its work. Lesson seven, don't delay investing. Here's a short story on the importance of timing. Imagine starting with a $100 monthly investment at age 25 and continuing for just 10 years. Now, your friend starts investing at 35 and continues until 65, but you still end up with more because you started earlier. That's the magic of compounding. Lesson eight, embrace failure. Success doesn't mean you're always right. In fact, the wealthiest investors are often wrong most of the time, but they've earned big profits from a few correct decisions. Remember, even Warren Buffett made most of his profits from a handful of companies, despite investing in hundreds. So, consider failure as part of the process. Lesson nine, pay attention to fees. A small fee might seem minor, but even a 1% fee can make a significant difference over time. For example, if you and your friend both invest $100,000, but your friend's fund has 1% higher fees, they'll end up with $41,000 less after 30 years. Fees matter, don't ignore them. 
Lesson 10. Control your greed. We all want quick profits, but if an investment seems too good to be true, it probably is. Major investors aim for steady growth, not high-risk opportunities. So, control the urge to jump at every golden opportunity. Lesson 11. Paying off debt is also an investment. Ever thought about debt repayment as your best investment? If you have a loan with a 15% interest rate, paying it off is like earning a 15% return. So, paying off your debt can be a smart step before you even think about investing. Lesson 12. Averages can be misleading. Have you ever been misled by average statistics? Here's a fun example. Imagine you're in a car with two friends, and one of them is Elon Musk. Suddenly, the average income in the car skyrockets. Average stats can be deceiving, so don't base investment decisions solely on them. Lesson 13. Why index funds are safe. A classic piece of advice. If you're unsure, invest in an index fund. They're low cost, diversified, and easy to manage. When you invest in a global index fund, you're betting on humanity's progress. History has shown that despite wars, recessions, and crises, we always move forward. Lesson 14. Only take advice from those who invest. One last tip. Don't take financial advice from someone who hasn't invested in the product themselves. If an expert is recommending something but hasn't invested in it, that's a warning sign. The best opportunities don't need advertising. They go to those who seek them out. And that's it for today. 14 practical lessons from over 60 books, all to help you make better financial decisions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and drop any questions in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.